The theory of human caring is an evolving philosophy of nursing created by Jean Watson. The theory encourages human-to-human relationships and supports a harmonious mind, body, and soul connection. During this presentation, we will explore the significance of this theory, which will lead us to a deeper understanding and appreciation of its practice. Jean Watson was born on June 10, 1940 in Welch, West Virginia. Watson is the youngest of eight children. In 1961, she graduated from the Lewis Gale School of Nursing in Roanoke, Virginia. In 1961, she also married her husband, Douglas, and moved to Colorado. In 1998, Watson's best friend passed and left her with two grown children and five grandchildren. She earned her bachelor's degree in 1964, her master's of science in psychiatric and mental health nursing in 1966, and a PhD in educational psychology and counseling in 1973, and all of which were earned at the University of Colorado at Boulder. Era of nursing. In the 1970s, nursing was less collaborative than it is today. There was more of an emphasis on following physician's order rather than collaborating as part of an interpersonal team, according to Fortis 2016. The witness sign informed consents for various procedures and satisfaction surveys for hospitals, hospital services, and nurses and physicians, as well as technological advancements improved substantially client satisfaction over the last few decades compared with the 1970s. Also, the training requirements and licensure for supporting personnel increased since the 1970s. There was a shortage of registered nurses to staff hospital and nursing homes, according to National Academy Press in 1983. Medicaid and Medicare programs were established just prior in 1965. Therefore, more Americans sought for uh, health care. The role of the nursing of the nurse practitioner has established in 1965 where nurses could help physicians diagnose and treat illnesses, according to woman, Texas Women's um, University in 2019. Era of nursing. From the beginning of her career, Jean Watson felt a lack of focus on the relationships between patients and nurses in healthcare settings. Through her articles, books she wrote, and all her post-university studies, she developed a new approach to nursing, the theory of human caring. She brings postmodernism to nursing as her book, Postmodern Nursing and Beyond, published in 1999, emphasizes. Since, Since 1970, when Watson started her career till today, nursing has become a respected profession on its own, where nurses have expertise in healthcare administration, the legislature, education, and leadership, according to American Nursing Association 2017. In 1980, she opened the Center of Human Caring based on her ideas to use human caring at every level of the organization. The project involved and still is national and international student participation. All her work influenced the perspective on nursing as a holistic practice. Hospitals around the world today are implementing human caring theory as a way to improve results, retain nurses, and offer authentic caring healing practices to complement the best of medical technology treatment and cure approaches, according to Petrovsky 2012. As the Affordable Care Act was implemented in the U.S. in 2010, more people have access to medical services. Human rights have improved and have become more inclusive in the U.S. since Jean Watson's career started. Today, more and more patients and nurses are interested in holistic approach to healing. Between the years of 1975 and 1979, 
Jean Watson developed the theory of human caring while studying at the University of Colorado. Her studies in nursing and clinical and social psychology helped set the foundation of her theory, which contributed to her finding her nursing values and attempting to show nursing in a different light. This theory explains that nurses all share the same kind of belief regarding the care that they give to their patients physically and emotionally. They share a mutual understanding that in order for the body to heal, the mind has to heal with it. Therefore, providing emotional support is just as important as the physical care. The nurse sees the patient as more than just their medical diagnosis. The first major concept to Jean Watson's theory are the 10 carative factors. Watson created 10 carative instead of curative factors that defined how nurses treat their patients. She explained that, nur that nurses will give compassion and conscious care if they implement the 10 factors included in her curative method. The next major concept of her theory is the transpersonal caring relationship. This concept explains that a transpersonal nurse has the capability to treat and care for their patient as a whole being rather than on the illness they are experience, experiencing. The third major concept of her theory is the caring experience. She describes this as two nurses coming together, one being the mentor, the other being the student, and the mentor sharing her knowledge and values and experiences to help the new nurse form her values and unique way of care. The last major concept of Watson's theory describes that the person being cared for and the caretaker are unified as one. The nurse develops inner relationships with their pa patients as they intentionally care for their needs. Watson's theory of human caring Watson's theory of human caring consisted of seven assumptions. One, caring is only satisfactory if an interpersonal relationship is developed between the nurse and the patient. Two, caring is composed of the 10 carative factors which directly correlates to the fulfillment of specific needs. Three, individuals or families are likely to maintain their health if they are adequately cared for. Four, the continuity of care should remain consistent no matter the state or changing states the patient may be in. Five, the environment around the patient needs to be suitable for their autonomy to be respected. Six, the nurturing of the patient directly correlates to the curing of the patient. And finally, seven, the nursing profession revolves around caring. Watson's theory of human caring consisted of seven assumptions. The four meta paradigms. The four meta paradigms in nursing are person, nursing, health, and environment. Watson believed that the nursing meta paradigms are described as in order for needs to be met by an individual, they also must be cared for emotionally and physically. Watson defines the person section as someone who views themselves as a whole instead of their individual parts. The health section, she believes that health is more than just treating the disease and that in order to be a successful nurse, you also have to incorporate a holistic approach with your patients. The environment portion, Watson strongly believes that the environment has a large impact on nursing care by not only affecting patients' capability to heal, but may also impact how the nurse provides care. The nursing section, Jean Watson explains that it is necessary for nurses to develop relationships with their patients in order to provide satisfactory care. Jean Watson. Jean Watson's theory favored the use of establishing a caring and trusting relationship with all patients. An example of this theory in action is the following. A nurse is caring for an elderly patient that is awaiting discharge to a skilled nursing facility. During the client's stay, they mention negative feelings towards placement. The patient expresses feelings of abandonment, depression, and anger. The nurse in the scenario takes on the responsibility of caring and comforting this patient to ensure that their stay at the hospital improves upon their emotional well-being. With the application of Watson's theory, the nurse should offer their time to sit to and console this client. The nurse should listen to their concerns while also providing education if any questions arise. To give more guidance, a pastor or spiritual leader can be called to further comfort them. Additionally, the nurse can offer to call the patient's family if they choose. As the patient feels lonely, spending time to talk to them decreases their emotional discomfort. By validating the patient's emotions, spending time with them, and ensuring their needs are provided, the nurse has successfully practiced Watson's theory of caring. 
Restraint uses a Restraint uses a common practice within the healthcare field, especially within acute psychiatric facilities, but oftentimes they are shown to increase the aggravation of the patient. Restraints are typically used in the prevention of injuries and falls, but a study done showed that facilities that avoid patient restraints actually reported fewer injuries than facilities with the prevalent use of restraints. The nurse manager of a psychiatric facility recognized the shortcomings of restraint use and wanted to change this. She wanted to experiment with the use of Jean Watson's theory of transpersonal caring relationships and increased nursing presence. Nursing presence is defined as nurses spending more quality time in patients' rooms as needed. The rationale behind this was to increase positive reactions with patients within the unit to positively impact their emotions, thus preventing the use of restraints. The results proved to show positive outcomes. As nurses spent more time within each patient's room to establish an authentic and caring relationship and also stationed themselves in the hallway for patients to see them more frequently, the number of restraint episodes and minutes of restraints have declined. Watson's theory of creating an interpersonal relationship between patients and nurses succeeded within this study. An qualitative in a qualitative analysis of the preoperative concerns of surgical patients, the need for caring was the most common need after the fear of death. An increased mental strain or stress can result to negatively impact health status. But with the help of alternative therapies and holistic approaches created by Jean Watson, anxiety levels are shown to decrease. By initiating a therapeutic response between the nurse and patient, the nurse can help the patient relax before the beginning of surgery. The usage of therapeutic communication, trusting environments, and compassion has assisted in alleviating these negative feelings. Watson's philosophy Watson's philosophy of caring can be applied to numerous issues in healthcare today. The first issue we'll address is the COVID-19 pandemic. The pandemic has had monumental impacts on healthcare and the way care is provided. For example, Non-emergent procedures and treatments have been delayed or deferred as COVID cases flooded the hospitals. There's been prolonged supply shortages and patients have seen firsthand a lack of PPE and other things necessary for their care. Fear of infection has kept people away from hospitals seeking the care they need. There's been loss of loved ones, feelings of isolation and uncertainty of the state of the world. With all of this has come fear, anger, frustration and grief. Watson's care model is especially important during this time. Utilizing her philosophy of caring and connecting with patients, nurses can reestablish an environment where there is trust, understanding, and openness. In a time of uncertainty, this can help patients feel secure and reassured that they're cared for as individuals. The second the second issue is staffing in hospitals, which has taken a huge hit during the pandemic. The result is higher than acceptable patient to nurse ratios, leading to fatigue, burnout, and potential room for errors. On the patient side, there's dissatisfaction in care and needs not getting addressed. During this time, Watson's model is extremely important in reestablishing caring nurse and patient relationships. In doing so, patients are able to express their needs, which then allows the nurse to address them. This not only increases patient satisfaction, but decreases stress on the nurse as well. With that, applying Watson's first carative factor and practicing loving kindness with oneself as well as with others allows the nurse to care for him or herself and therefore provide better care to others. The final issue being The final issue being addressed is the surge in mental health concerns, which again has been exacerbated by the COVID-19 pandemic. Watson's care model is particularly important when working with any individual with mental health struggles. Her idea of human connection shows patients they're not alone. Establishing transpersonal caring relationships provides patients a sense of security and allows them to open up about their true feelings. Listening authentically and promoting the expression of both positive and negative emotions gives patients the space to express themselves and ultimately feel seen and heard. While Watson's care model should be incorporated in all aspects of nursing practice, it is of the utmost importance when dealing with any mental health concerns. The theory of human 
The theory of human caring centers on developing true and meaningful connections to aid in feelings of acceptance and trust. When a connection is made, the theory can be applied to everyday nursing practices, whether it be arranging your med pass to be able to turn on their favorite show or getting them the extra cookie for lunch because it reminds them of home. The application of such approach can elicit healing of the mind, spirit, and body, which will in turn bring forth good health.